Good Wednesday evening to you. Middle of the work week and it's weather for Weather Geeks time. Uh, we are going to focus on our next precipitation chances, one in the short term, one in the longer range in this uh, in this video. But first I wanted to quickly review where we've been so far precipitation wise during the month of June. Rainfall has been plentiful so far this month, kind of going along with a theme over the last several months. We've had plenty of precipitation during the spring and early summer season. Here's a look at the totals through the first eight days of the month. Everywhere where you see yellow, that's two inches or more. Uh, the most real estate covered by two inches or more in Mercer County and southern parts of Columbiana, but even parts of Trumbull and southeastern Mahoning. Uh, a few spots uh, have picked up more than two inches worth of rain. Some of the driest areas so far in June, western Mahoning, southwestern Trumbull amounts there generally around an inch or closer to an inch anyway than uh, some of the areas to the east and to the south as well. We're going to add to these totals as we go into the night tonight. In the meantime, today started with fog. As we've been warning about over the last couple of evenings, fog would be an issue for some this morning, and that came to fruition. Once the fog burned off, nice day today. Mix of sun and clouds, very comfortable for this time of the year. The dew points were lower. Instead of dew points in the 60s, we had dew points in the 50s throughout the day and now as of this recording a little after 6 30 uh, clouds are starting to increase tornado watch is out for parts of southern central and southwestern ohio this evening everywhere in red this includes columbus dayton cincinnati as well and heading over towards athens parkersburg marietta all those areas covered by this uh, tornado watch and we've had a couple of uh, tornado warnings, even some confirmed tornadic activity uh, not far from the Dayton area this evening. Uh, as of this recording here at uh, 6.30, one leftover tornado warning out in southwest Ohio. I believe this is the cell that has produced uh, a confirmed tornado. I've seen a couple of pictures on social media of an actual uh, confirmed tornado with this. That's the uh, active tornado warning as of this recording. There's been the occasional severe thunderstorm warning with some of this activity as it's moved through southern parts of Ohio. Now, the ingredients are best, certainly, from around I-70 on south for not only isolated tornadoes, but uh, occasional hail and some gusty winds as well. The ingredients just aren't as good, if you will, farther to the north. So the significant tornado parameter or STP values, you'll sometimes see us talk about this, uh, definitely Columbus and Zanesville on south is where you see uh, definitely the higher risk for isolated tornadoes through this evening. Now, as far north as Route 30, Columbiana County, East Liverpool area, Lisbon, Hanoverton, Selineville, some of those places, I can't 100% rule out just yet that uh, on the northern fringe of the fringes of this activity, we might have uh, still enough wind shear to pay attention to towards the end of the evening, but it's a low, low chance, definitely higher chances down closer to Interstate 70, closer to Wheeling, maybe as far north as Steubenville as well. Once you get into our television viewing area, chances uh, or conditions just will not be very favorable for anything too rambunctious. But we will get rain, and some of this could be pretty heavy for a couple of hours. Now, it's not going to be around for very long, but late this evening, and then wrapping up maybe towards midnight or so, some of this rain can come down at a pretty good clip. Now, once we head into the overnight, not much more than a spotty shower or two. The, the bulk of the rain, the heaviest of the rain, the most impactful rain will come in a kind of three-hour time frame from about 9 p.m. through about midnight for tonight. How much rain are we talking? Here's a look at our computer models. And, you know, with this kind of convective nature of the shower and thunderstorm activity, you know, we have a decent model spread here. Um, but I think another half an inch on average, uh, seems like a pretty good bet in most of the area later on this evening into the overnight. Now, could someone get an inch, even a little bit more, as the NAM would suggest? I can't rule that out. Um, certainly some efficient rain producers will push through, but I think a good region-wide average would be about a half an inch. And for this reason, uh, the uh, Weather Prediction Center, uh, in their day one uh, flash flood outlook, does have all of the region outlined in the low-end risk for flash flooding. We've had a decent amount of rain lately. If you were to get another quick, in a, in a matter of a couple of hours, a quick three quarters of an inch to an inch worth of rain in some of our more flood prone areas might be some localized issues later on this evening. So I'll of course keep you updated throughout the evening on social media and tonight on 21 News at 11. We're back to pretty decent weather for our Thursday as this system pushes away. Clouds will break for some sun. Boy, not that warm. 
only about 70 tomorrow afternoon. Kind of the same idea Friday. This is a nice day, but a rather cool early June day. This uh, dashed black line, of course, trough of low pressure. And some of the model trends over the last 24 hours with this uh, working in our favor as far as weekend rain goes, especially for the start of the weekend, I should say. So it looks like to me that a lot of Friday night and Saturday, uh, the highest chances for rain will stay to our south. Now, could we get grazed by a couple of showers Friday night heading into Saturday morning especially? Yeah, I think that's possible, and I think Saturday could start with plenty of clouds, but I don't look for a lot of precipitation at this point during the first half of the weekend. Now, on Sunday, the forecast is trending a little bit more unsettled. There's still a lot of question marks here. This is no guarantee that we're going to have severe weather on Sunday. But some of the modeling would suggest that a pretty good disturbance comes down in this kind of northwest flow, and there'll be a, a decent amount of wind shear above our heads. We won't have a tremendous amount of moisture to work with. Dew points won't be real high on Sunday. But this could be kind of a, a what we call a low cape, high shear environment where you don't have a tremendous amount of instability, but you got a lot of wind energy. Uh, and so depending on how exactly this thing tracks and, and the timing, there could be a severe weather risk uh, across Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA coming up on our Sunday. But this is only Wednesday. We got a lot of time to figure this out and certainly we'll have a better kind of grasp of the situation as we get towards the end of the week and into the upcoming weekend. So that is Sunday. If you have outdoor plans this weekend, I would not cancel them either day at this point, so, but a heads up, maybe a shower Saturday and maybe a couple of rowdy storms on Sunday. Higher confidence, certainly, of the pattern next week featuring hot weather finally returning. Now, this may not stick around for very long, but a good two or three day stretch, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, middle of next week, about a week from right now, um, some of the hottest weather we've seen in a couple of weeks around here. Now, uh, it could be really hot to our south and to our west. We'll probably be on the fringes of the hottest weather. Uh, I've got a lot of stations plotted up here, but I'll kind of zoom around and show you. As early as Monday, we're talking maybe some triple digit heat. As far east as St. Louis, Nashville pushing 100, Charlotte's going to get really hot by Tuesday. Kind of the same idea once again with maybe 90s to 100 in places like Augusta, Georgia, Charlotte, Raleigh, heading up uh, towards the lower Ohio River Valley. Cincinnati could be really pushing well up into the 90s. But in eastern Ohio, western PA, depending on if we get grazed by a couple of thunderstorms, um, we may not be as hot as a lot of our neighbors to the south and west. I think the day that it has the best chance of seeing 90 plus or around 90, maybe next Wednesday, but even that may be dependent on if we get some sort of uh, what we call ridge runners, these clusters of storms kind of on the fringes of a heat ridge. Um, if we get a couple of those, that will short circuit the warm up here locally. But either way, we have a pretty good chance at this point uh, of seeing some pretty steamy temperatures by the middle of next week, even though the chances of extreme heat, well up into the 90s, that kind of thing, I think the chances are much higher in places like Cincinnati and Dayton, and then certainly down towards Nashville and places like that, middle of next week. So interesting things to talk about over the next week. You know, we'll have you covered right here on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching tonight. I'll see you back here on Thursday.